Thank you for your interest in or recent purchase of BridgeRid. In this short video presentation, we're going to go through the components of our system, how they work, and how to operate them. Now let's look at our electronics. BridgeRid is completely automated. In front of each bin on each feed line, we have a sensor that monitors the feed in the line, ensuring that it stays full. They work independently of each other. Each has the ability to run the vibrator as needed. As soon as the flow is restored, it shuts back off. Once properly installed, there's no maintenance or service required here. The flow sensors communicate with each other via a peer-to-peer -peer network. All the sensors on one feed line are communicating, all the sensors on the other feed line are communicating up to however many feed lines you have. This allows them to work independently of each other. So if I want to feed out of one bin with one feed line and out of a different bin with the other feed line, perfectly fine, the system works fine. Also what that does is it allows the system to find feed. It will continue to run a bin empty till feed's not detected anymore then it will move to the next bin and continue in a cycle until it finds feed. If it does not find feed, it will cycle through twice. Finding no feed, the system will automatically turn off. Only the bins with the vibrator control box in the auto position cycle. If it's in the off position, it's out of the loop. Each bin has a control box mounted on its leg. Its function is to measure vibration. As the feed level in the bin decreases, vibration increases. This box ensures that we do not operate on an empty bin. It features a switch with the choices of off, manual, and auto. When feeding out of this bin, the desired position is auto. The self-test and three-second vibration lets you know that it's functioning properly. It also offers a manual switch as a convenience item. Let's say we've got a load of pellets in that were hot and they've been in the bin for three weeks and we have some mold issues or we got a bunch of rain in the bin. When in the manual position, the vibrator will run, allowing you to rectify the situation. When you're finished, make sure you return the switch back to off or auto as the vibrator will continue to run in that position. Once properly installed, there's no maintenance or service required. This cutout displays bridge rig spin components. They consist of an externally mounted vibrator and an internally mounted grid system. The internal parts connect the opposing bin walls, solidifying the cone and allowing even and constant vibration through the entire bin structure. That same vibration travels through the grid system, agitating the feed in the lower portion of the bin. Note, it extends down through the ring and the transition area into the boot where so many problems occur. Once properly installed, the only maintenance required here would be that annually we ask that you check and retorque the four lock nuts that attach the vibrator to the vibrator mount plate. BridgeRid is manufactured right here in Central Iowa. We offer a two year warranty from the date of installation. We are pleased to be able to offer a solution to a problem that has plagued the industry for so long. As always, feel free to contact us with any questions or concerns.